Suresh Kumar's home collapsed on a night when torrential rains slashed Manjha village in India's mountain state of Himachal Pradesh. There was no electricity. We took torches and saw that huge cracks had appeared in all the rooms. They kept widening. By the morning, it had fallen. Neighboring villages experienced similar devastation. Many have taken shelter under tents. Maniram recalls that night of terror. There were small children and an old woman. We picked them up and fled. By the time we reached down, that land was also sinking and there was waste deep water. We ran helter skelter. These families are among hundreds impacted by the unprecedented havoc caused by extreme monsoon rains. Scores have died in the last two months. In big towns and small villages, buildings have been reduced to rubble, roads damaged. Authorities have declared the havoc a state disaster. As families lost their homes, some social workers arranged shoes and rations. Sansar Chand says it was the worst destruction they have witnessed. It was nature's fury. We could not make out whether it was a cloudburst or whether the land sank. I've never seen something like this. A recent study published in the journal Nature says that global warming is bringing more extreme rain and less snow to mountain regions in the northern hemisphere. Study author Mohammed Ombadi says that can make the mountains more dangerous. Rainfall and like snowfall uh, triggers floods um, more rapidly, leading to a higher risk of flooding, landslides, soil erosion and other negative impacts. These mountain communities have experienced the shifting climate firsthand. They say winter precipitation now comes closer to summer. Snowfall is regular or time pe nahi The snowfall is irregular. It falls late and melts rapidly as summer comes. The water puts more pressure on the hills, then the monsoons bring much more moisture. Ombadi says intensifying rains are impacting the Himalayas more than other mountain regions. Also, there is um, a higher rate of melting glaciers. And when you have these two processes again acting together, um, then they, they amplify the risk of flooding and landslides. So I would say for these two reasons, um, the, the Himalayas are, are hotspots that you know, are vulnerable to uh, global warming and climate change impacts. Rapid construction of buildings and roads in a region that is a tourist magnet is aggravating the problem, prompting growing calls for sustainable development. But it is already too late for these families. They fear that the hills where they lived for generations are now unsafe. Social worker Chant says, I don't think this area is habitable any longer. There are cracks everywhere along the river. The land has sunk. With the devastation widespread, finding safe havens may not be easy. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.